Howdy. Don't my teeth look good sometimes? I always like to look attractive sometimes when talking to your people. Or when I don't want to know who people are, I'm kind of incognito. I wear my teeth. You know, that's what I do. But, you know, I, I was sitting there thinking about a fella I used to know. And, well, he was the type of person that the glass was always half empty. He was always down, always depressed. And, and in fact, what he was, was he's kind of like, we might as well say he's in a little shit pit, kind of deep. But he never did realize a couple of things. You know, a shit pit can get deeper and more complicated and bigger, but it never gets to the point where it just goes away and you're out of the pit. You know, when you think about being down all the time and you got problems and you think, well, my glass is half empty, you ain't seeing that it's half full. And a half full glass can be good. You know what I mean? Well, I knew this fella never did get out of the shit pit because he's always looking down, looking at all the crap, looking at all the bad things, and he never made it out. And you want to know what the saddest thing about it was? If he just had a little bit more positive, but they gone, there was a ladder right next to him. But he was looking down so much he didn't see it. And the poor old guy just kind of faded away in the shit pit and had a miserable ending. It was sad. Now, another thing I always want to talk about, you know, if you're good at something, real good, don't ever step back and take nothing from nobody. You know, like I'm real good at doing jumping jacks. I've done millions of them in my life. Now, people look at me and say, Carl, come on. Well, I'm going to stand tall with my teeth or without not my damn teeth. And I told you I've done millions of them, millions, and I still can. And I ain't going to back down a second or nothing. And I don't exaggerate. That's one thing you never want to do. If you're good at something, don't ever exaggerate. Don't ever back down. Don't ever exaggerate. Because it's wrong. You stand up. I don't care what people think you're nuts or not. I don't care. You know it? And I tell you one thing. You may not believe it. One time I had all my teeth. Now, you may not believe it. And I don't care. But I know I did. And I ain't going to back down to nobody. Even if people say, Carl, you're crazy. You never did have no dig on teeth. You don't have the brain for it. Now, I'll tell you another thing you can do, though. Now, on the other hand, if you run up to some kind of whippersnapper, think he's cool as hell, and he's really good, and he's always putting you down saying you ain't nothing, and you're no good at it anyhow, lie like hell. Say you're the greatest there is, and I'm great at this, and I can do this, and all this other kind of stuff. Because, you know, he's being a prick bragging about what he's doing, putting you down. You see what I mean? Bragging about not believing you. So what you do, you exaggerate all you want. You lie like hell. You know, you say you can do this, do that, do this, and you know you can't do none of it. Now, I'll tell you an example. This one fella I knew, oh, he's a good golfer. He could golf. Woo, he was good. But he's putting me down and saying I can't do what I can do. So I said, I'll tell you what. He said, are you a good golfer? I said, honey. Am I a good golfer? I said, I'm one of the best. And he said, well, what's your score on a very difficult daggone golf course? Well, I told him not only on a difficult golf course, I was doing it in the snow, in the hail, and the rain, and on an 18-hole difficult daggone golf course, I shot 106. Lord, he started laughing, 106. That's pitiful. I'm down in the low 70s. Well, I said, son, look at them fancy golf clubs you got. Now, you look at me. I don't have none. I said, my woods, my irons, my putters, everything. I can talk like, Carter, did you need to play golf? Whatever it is, it's my right foot. I kick the ball wherever I want to do it. And when my right foot gets tired, I dig on use my left foot. I said, I've never used a club in my life. I says, that's how damn good I am. So you remember two things. You're better off looking at the glass half full than half empty because it's a lot cheaper to fill up a glass that's half full than half empty in it. In your mind, it's more positive, better way of looking at things. And like I say, if you get people and you're great at something and you can do something more, nobody's ever going to believe it. Hell, with them. you know you can do it, and that's all that matters. But if you can't, and they're raising you enough, you fly like hell to see how great you are. Thank you.